हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पोटेंशियल स्टेप लेट्स बिगेन इफ द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ ए पार्टिकल सडनली चेंज फ्रॉम वन कंस्टेंट वैल्यू टू अनदर कंस्टेंट वैल्यू देन इट इज ट्रीटेड एज पोटेंशियल स्टेप If the potential step occurs at origin, then the potential u is a function of x will be u not for that of region x greater than zero, and that potential will be zero for that of region. x less than zero means what is that of potential step at origin? Look here. Suddenly, at origin, the potential changes to a constant value. means this is the region 1 this is the region 2 that is the region x greater than 0 the potential is u not and at x less than 0 the potential will be 0 the potential energy of a particular sorry of a particle suddenly changes from one constant value to another constant value this is the potential step and when we consider that potential step at origin that valued as u not in that of region and zero in that of region so the potential energy vanish to the left of origin and attains a constant value to the right of that of origin. In reality, such a potential step does not exist, but uh, for a good approximation, we can think of the potential difference across the deeds of cyclo cyclotron in cyclotron the d's when we consider the cyclotron there are two d's this the potential difference across these two d's are the potential step we will study the case of two different limitations what are these limitations one is two different limitations we have to study here limitations first case when e is greater than u not e is greater than u not means what that indicates E that is the energy of an incident beam. Energy of incident beam is greater than the height of potential step. This is the height of potential step. greater than the height of potential step and another condition when e is less than u not 
means the energy of incident beam is less than the height of potential step that is the energy of incident beam is less than the height of potential step these are the two possible cases we have to study it in these two cases the results for that of potential step in classical mechanics or in classical theory is different to that of quantum theory according to classical theory when e is greater than u not would pass the step without any reflection and move with less velocity but when e is less than u not then the particle will rebound from the step and never penetrate to that of to the step region but in quantum theory the solution from the schrodinger equation is quite different and interesting in that of quantum theory that is total different to that of classical theory let us study it. what the interesting factor or what happenings when this two cases are studied under quantum mechanics or we can apply schrodinger's time independent schrodinger equations first we studied case 1 case 1 when e less than e not e less than u not what happened suppose a suppose uniform beam of particle of each mass small m mass small m and kinetic energy capital e that means e is less than u not are traveling along the positive x axis that is originate from x from minus infinity from that region and uh, the beam encountered the step at origin when that beam travels and encounter that step at origin and uh, for that of region let we consider the wave function psi 1 for that of region 1 and psi 2 be the wave function in that of region 2 that is in that of region x greater than 0 psi 2 and x less than 0 let we prefer psi 1 so according to time independent schrodinger equation let you prefer this as uh, region 1 that let region 2 region 1 and region 2 let for region 1 just i write here like this that is region 1 and that portion be let region 2 in region 1 region 1 region 1 and here discuss about region 2 the time dependent schrodinger equation in region 1 we consider the wave function psi 1 here we consider the wave function psi 2 then what happened that is d square psi 1 dx square plus 2m by h cross square e minus 0 since here the potential term will be 0 e minus 0 psi 1 is equal to 0 or d square psi 1 dx square plus 
we assume k square as 2m by h cross square psi 1 is equal to 0 where k square b 2m e by h cross square and the general solution of that type of equation the solution of that type of equation b psi 1 is equal to a e to the power i k x plus b e to the power minus i k x again in region 2 what happenings we consider psi 2 as a wave function for that of region 2 and the potential factor will be u naught so here we are apply time independence Schrodinger equation that is d2 i2 dc square plus 2m by h cross square e minus u naught psi 2 is equal to 0 or d square psi 2 dx2 minus beta square psi 2 0 where where beta square is equal to 2m by h cross square u naught minus e that is the real one and the solution of the type of differential equation as psi 2 is equal to c e to the power minus beta x plus d e to the power beta x that is the solution factor for that of region 1 that is the solution for that of region 2 what are uh, these terms as a e to the power i k x b e to the power minus i k x what are the significance of these terms where where a e to the power i k x that is what that is the incident wave that is the incident wave of the wave whose amplitude is a of amplitude a and uh, it travel along the positive direction of x axis as i k x traveling traveling along the positive direction of x axis what is b e to the power minus i k x b e to the power minus i k x means this is the reflected wave the reflected wave of amplitude b amplitude b that uh, traveling along the negative direction of x axis the negative direction of x axis and here c e to the power minus beta x c e to the power minus beta x means that the exponentially decaying wave function that the exponentially decaying wave function which is not oscillating disturbance which is not which is uh, which is non oscillating which is non oscillating disturbance 
which is non oscillating disturbance and the last one that is d e to the power beta x d e to the power beta x means that is exponentially increasing wave function exponentially exponentially increasing wave function which is progress which is progress along the x direction these are the physical meaning of these terms but what this indicates in case of if we consider that is the step potential here is at x is equal to 0 and that is the incident wave that is e e to the power i k x and the reflected wave as b e to the power minus i k x and here what happening for that of c with the exponentially decaying wave function which will not progress that is the c e to the power minus i beta x but what happened to, to that of last one but physically but physically psi is finite for what for x tends to infinity when x tends to infinity phi is psi is finite which is positive only when which is positive only when d will be 0 when d will be 0 that is finite and x to infinity so in that of region 2 that is the region 2 as we take here this that when the region 2 in region 2 in region 2 the valid solution is so in region 2 the valid solution the valid solution means psi 2 only that term exists that means psi 2 is equal to c e to the power minus beta x that is the solution so we get the solution for that of region 1 and the solution for that of region 2 but our task is to find out what should be the values of these arbitrary constants arbitrary constant in the sense a b and c are the arbitrary constant let us uh, find out the arbitrary constants and these arbitrary constants are determined by using the boundary conditions these arbitrary constants are evaluated from that of boundary conditions here the boundary conditions are the arbitrary constant means a b c these are the amplitudes also uh, these amplitudes are evaluated from that of boundary condition what are the boundary conditions boundary conditions boundary conditions boundary conditions a psi 1 that is in the first region and origin is same that is same as that of x2 that is wave function is continuous at origin wave function is continuous at origin 
and another boundary condition its differentiation or its slope d psi 1 dx and x is equal to 0 is same d psi 2 and x is equal to 0 that is the first order derivative of a function is continuous the first order derivative of a function is also continuous let us using these two boundary conditions we have to get these amplitudes or these constants so when we put first boundary conditions here when we put first boundary conditions here psi 1 is equal to psi 2 at x is equal to 0 that means when x is equal to 0 that is a plus b is equal to c therefore therefore a plus b is equal to c again using the second boundary conditions d psi 1 dx at x is equal to 0 same as the dx 2 dx at x is equal to 0 when we differentiating first order differentiation and we equate we get i k i k a minus b is equal to minus beta c which implies a minus b is equal to i beta divided by k into c here a plus b is equal to c here a minus b is equal to c when we solve these two equations solving these two equations what we get adding adding equation i and double i we get when we add these two that means 2a 2a is equal to 1 plus i beta divided by k of c which implies c is equal to 2k k plus i beta of a again subtracting these two now subtracting subtracting equation 1 from 2 or 2 from 1 we get this 2a is equal to 1 plus i beta divided by k of c which implies sorry sorry that not when we subtract we get 2b is equal to k minus i beta divided by k whole into c which implies b is equal to k minus i beta divided by k plus i beta of a we just put the value of c here here we get c in terms of a and b in terms of a now let put k is equal to r cos delta and beta is equal to r sin delta then k plus i beta is equal to r cos delta plus i sin delta that is r e to the power i delta e to the power i delta again k minus i beta means r cos delta minus i sin delta 
r e to the power minus i delta. The substitutions are used here. Or finally, we get the substitutions to get the wave functions. Now, therefore, psi 1, psi 1 that is a e to the power i k x plus b e to the power minus i k x is equal to a e to the power i k x plus b we substitute k minus i beta k minus i beta divided by k plus i beta it k plus i beta then into a e to the power minus i k x is equal to a e to the power i k x plus r e to the power minus i delta just substitute k minus i beta divided by r e to the power i delta a e to the power minus i k x again a taking as common that is e to the power i k x plus r r cancel out e to the power minus i delta e to the power minus i delta means e to the power minus 2 i delta e to the power minus 2 i delta e to the power minus i k x just multiply and divide 2 here 2 a e to the power i k x plus e to the power minus i ok ok here uh, we have to uh, 2 2 i delta e to the power minus i k x divided by 2 no such change but in that of step we implement a new term that is 2 a e to the power minus i delta as common in these two terms means e to the power i k x plus delta plus e to the power minus i k x plus delta divided by 2 means 2 a that term is known as cos k x plus delta into e to the power minus i delta that is the value for psi 1 now the value for psi 2 is evaluated by using this manner so psi 2 this is psi 1 then psi 2 again psi 2 c e to the power minus beta x is equal to in place of c we substitute 2k divided by k plus i beta a that is the value of c c to the power minus beta x again 2k k plus i beta r e to the power i delta a e to the power minus beta x that is 2 r cos delta in place of k divided by r e to the power i delta a e to the power minus beta x is equal to 2 a cos delta e to the power minus i delta e to the power minus beta x.
this is what this is psi 2 this is psi 2 psi 1 and psi 2 the solution for that of psi 2 signify that the wave function in region 2 is exponentially damped off e to the power minus beta x means when we consider that is at x is equal to 0 at x equal to 0 that is the x axis and this is the probability of finding the particle psi square then that indicates the wave functions are damping off ok these are the wave functions are damping of psi 2 indicates now the probability current density in different regions the probability current density in different regions probability current density probability current densities in different regions first the incident current density incident current density means j i incident current density i h cross by 2 m that is uh, psi psi incident del psi incident that is uh, psi incident del psi incident conjugate divided by del x minus conjugate of psi incident del psi incident del x is equal to i h cross by 2 m psi incident a e to the power i k x here del by del x of a e to the power i k x minus a e to the power i k x conjugate del by del x of a e to the power i k x here i h cross by 2 m minus i k when solving that one we will get magnitude of a square into 2 2 to cancel out i square i i i square that is minus 1 minus minus plus that is h cross k by m magnitude of a square this is the incident current density then reflected current density reflected current density that is j r reflected current density similarly i h cross divided by 2 m that reflected wave function reflected wave function means b e to the power i k x del by del x of b e to the power i k x i k x conjugate minus b star e to the power minus i k x that is del by del x of b e to the power i k x just same as previous that is i h cross by 2 m minus 2 i k b b conjugate means h cross k divided by m magnitude of b square this is the incident current density that is the reflected current density therefore the net probability the net probability current density
in region 1 is given by it is J1 net provided current incident in region 1 that is J incident minus J reflected means H cross K by M magnitude of A square minus magnitude of B square look here as B is equal to K minus I beta divided by k plus i beta and its conjugate its conjugate b star k plus i beta divided by k minus i beta here b is equal to a here conjugate is a star ok then b into b star b into b star is same as a into a star and its magnitude square same as its magnitude square therefore these two values are equal since j1 is equal to 0 means the net current density in region 1 vanishes therefore the net current density current density in region 1 vanishes the net current density in region 1 vanishes what happened for that of region 2 in region 2 the current density j2 in region 2 the current density J2 means IH cross divided by 2M C e to the power minus beta x del by del x of C star e to the power minus beta x minus C star e to the power minus beta x d by dx of c e to the power minus minus beta x that is i by h cross by 2 m c c star e to the power minus 2 beta x minus c c star e to the power minus 2 beta x that is 0 this is the current density in region 2 so what should be the reflectivity or reflectance or reflection coefficient then the reflectivity reflectivity or reflectance or reflection coefficient reflection coefficient r is equal to that is j r divided by j i current density reflection current density to that of incident is equal to h cross k by m magnitude of b square divided by h cross k by m magnitude of a square is equal to 1 again transmittance transmittivity transmission coefficient the trans Transmissivity. Transmissivity. Transmittance. Transmittance. Transmission coefficient. 
transmission coefficient t is equal to j t by j i j transmission j incident that is transmission 0 divided by h cross k by m magnitude of a square that is 0 this is the reflectance this is the transmittance the reflectance plus transmittance is equal to 1 that is conservative So, what uh, we have studied here from now, this is the potential step case 1 for that of region 1 and region 2. Using these boundary conditions. we get psi 1 and then psi 2 and probably current density in different regions. And reflectivity and transmittivity or reflectance or transmittance. Now, what should be the solution to that is the case number 2 case number 2 case number 2 means where e is greater than u naught means the kinetic energy of that particle is greater than that of potential energy that of incident energy is greater than that of potential energy. Similarly, in region 1 and uh, region 2, we take the wave function psi 1, for that of region 2, we take the wave function psi 2, then in region 1, region 1, what should be the treatment of that of Schrodinger time, uh, time independent Schrodinger equation, and for that of region 2, what should be the solution for that of Schrodinger time independent Schrodinger equation. In region 1 that is d2 psi 1 dx2 plus 2m by h cross square e minus 0 psi 1 is equal to 0 where the potential is 0 just same pattern we have to follow it or e psi 1 dx2 plus k square psi 1 is equal to 0 where k square is equal to 2 m e divided by h cross square. The general solution same thing psi 1 is equal to a e to the power i k x plus b e to the power minus i k x. In region 2 that is psi 2 dx 2 plus 2m by h cross square e minus u naught psi 2 equal to 0 or psi 2 dx 2 plus beta square psi 2 is equal to 0 where beta square is equal to 2m e minus u naught divided by h cross square therefore the solution psi 2 is equal to g e to the power i beta x plus h e to the power minus i beta x that is the solution for that of region 1 that is the solution for that of region 2. Again, 
a e to the power i k x the incident wave of amplitude a traveling in the positive direction of x axis and b e to the power minus i k x is the reflected wave of ampl amplitude b traveling along the negative of x axis and g i beta x that is the wave of amplitude g traveling along the negative sorry that is the uh, negative uh, positive x direction and here wave of amplitude h traveling along the minus x direction just i take a figure to understand it easily here at x is equal to 0 let that stands for the amplitude a that stands for the amplitude g same plus plus that is the reflected one that stands for the amplitude b here is there will be no such reflection that stands for the amplitude h ok as the beam is incident only from the left so h is equal to 0 here h is equal to as the beam is incident only from left so h is equal to 0 therefore the solution psi 2 only depend upon g e to the power i beta x that is the solution for that of g let us evaluate this amplitudes a b and g what should be the amplitudes again we use the boundary conditions to evaluate these ampli these amplitudes boundary conditions boundary conditions i in psi 1 at x is equal to 0 is same as psi 1 sorry psi 2 at x equal to 0 and is faster differentiation d psi 1 dx at x is equal to 0 is same as d psi 2 at x is equal to 0 using these boundary conditions we can easily evaluate these amplitudes when we use that one here psi 1 is equal to psi 2 at x equal to 0 a plus b is equal to g a plus b is equal to g again its differentiation term that is i k a minus b is equal to i beta g which implies a minus b is equal to beta by k into g equation number i let equation number double i now adding and subtracting these two we can easily evaluate the value of a and b so therefore adding these two 2a is equal to 1 plus beta by k g and subtracting these two we also get 2b is equal to 1 minus beta by k into g here which implies g is equal to 2k divided by k plus beta and k plus beta into a and here b is equal to k minus beta divided by k plus beta into a hence psi in psi incident and psi reflected hence we take hence psi in means psi incident it a into e to the power i k x the incident wave function that is the incident wave function and psi r that is b e to the power minus i k x that is the reflected wave function that is the reflected wave function and in region 1 psi 1 psi incident plus 
psi reflected psi incident plus psi reflected whereas a taking as common in these two e to the power i k x plus k by beta divided by sorry k minus beta divided by k plus beta of e to the power minus i k x again psi for that of transmission that is for the wave function psi 2 in that second region we get 2k divided by k plus beta a e to the power i beta x this is psi incident and psi reflected that is for first region wave function and psi transmittance that is the second region wave function this is the first region that is the for that for second region now our task is to get the probability densities in these regions what are the probability densities let us find out the probability densities probability densities probability densities first for incident wave for incident wave j incident means i h cross divided by 2 m psi incident del psi incident by del x minus conjugate of psi incident del psi incident del x just putting its values i h cross by 2 m a e to the power i k x a conjugate i k e to the power minus i k x minus a conjugate e to the power minus i k x i k e to the power i k x is equal to i h cross by 2 m magnitude of a square minus 2 i k is equal to i h cross by 2 m sorry 2 to cancel out that is i h cross i square minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 that is h cross k divided by m magnitude of a square h cross k by m magnitude of a square then for reflected beam double i for reflected beam reflected beam j r minus i h cross divided by 2 m b e to the power minus i k x del by del x b star e to the power i k x minus b star e to the power i k x del by del x of b into e to the power minus i k x that is minus i h cross by 2 m magnitude of b square 2 i k h cross k divided by m magnitude of b square this is the incident wave that is the reflected beam so the net probability current density in region 1 so the net probability current density in region 1 j 1 is equal to j incident minus j reflected h cross k divided by m magnitude of a square minus magnitude of b square using the previous relations uh, h cross k by m magnitude of a square taking as common we get 1 minus k minus 
beta k plus beta whole square that is uh, 4 k beta k plus beta square minus k minus beta square that is 4 k beta divided by k plus beta square h cross k divided by m magnitude of a square that is net probability current density in region 1 next the probability current density for that of transmitted beam that happened in that of region, uh, region 2 the probability current density the probability current density for transmitted beam transmitted beam j transmitted i h cross divided by 2 m g e to the power i beta x d by d x of g star e to the power minus i beta x minus g star e to the power minus i beta x d by d x of g e to the power i beta x that is i h cross by 2 m minus 2 i beta g g star that is i h cross by 2 m i h cross by 2 m uh, ok i square i square minus 1 1 2 to cancel out that is h cross beta by m magnitude of g square h cross beta divided by m 2k divided by k plus beta whole square magnitude of a square so the reflectivity reflectance or the coefficient of reflection let us evaluate that is r therefore r r is equal to j r divided by j in h cross k divided by m magnitude of b square divided by h cross k divided by m magnitude of a square that is b by a magnitude whole square that is k minus beta divided by k plus beta whole square again the transmittance or transmittivity sorry that is for t t is equal to t is equal to j t divided by j in that is h cross beta divided by m magnitude of g square whole divided by h cross k divided by m magnitude of a square that is beta by k g magnitude square divided by a magnitude square that is beta by k 2k divided by k plus beta whole square that is 4 k beta divided by k plus beta whole square from these two equations r and t transmittance plus sorry reflectance plus transmittance we add these two that is k minus beta by k plus beta square plus 4 k beta divided by k plus beta square is equal to k plus beta divided by k plus beta whole square that is 1 thus probability conservation valid that indicates thus probability conservation valid since r plus t is equal to 1 probability conservation is valid so from this case if we take 
a graphical view as that is at e is equal to u naught here is the one then for reflectance it will be gradually constant and exponentially this is for reflectance and for that of transmittance we transfer heat this is for transmittance that is for case number 2 case number 2 when e is greater than u naught we proceed taking the boundary conditions and finally the probability densities in these regions and derive reflectance and transmittance r and t so with the help of this visual lecture we understand what is potential step what are the regions two limitations we have to draw when e is greater than u naught and when e is less than u naught for case number one when e is less than u naught we prefer in region one and region two the functions taking the boundary conditions to get the amplitudes psi 1 and psi 2 are drawn by using these amplitudes and then probably current density for different regions take reflectance and transmittance here reflectance here reflectance plus transmittance is equal to 1 means it is conserved it is said to be conserved then case number 2 when e is greater than u naught again region 1 and region 2 and its solutions using the boundary conditions we evaluate the amplitudes and the probability densities in these regions probability density in these regions r and t then r and r plus t is equal to 1 and the probability thus probability conservation is valid this is a graphical representation for that of transmittance and reflectance for that of case 2 so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session Thank you.